hello, this is how to train your cockatiel. Basically, all you're gonna train it is to get on your finger, not two fingers, because it's just one finger. It's not used to it, because I never trained it, so it's scared, kind of. I'm gonna hold it at the tip like this, and also you're gonna need one of these treats. If you don't have some, buy some before you train them, or just have a snack bar with honey, or anything. Not with chocolate. <laughs> so, um, you hold it at the tip, and basically, you want him to get up. You, you want him to go up, up. up. Not gonna want to, but not scared. Up, up. We're always talking. I have a treat. Up, up. He's still not used to all this training stuff. Up, up. Okay. Good birdie. Tell him good birdie. Good birdie. And you put him down. Okay. Now you move your hand. This is what you do. You move your hand a little bit, tiny closer. Up, up. Up, up. Takes time, takes time. Up, up. Okay, um. Hi, birdie. Up, up. Good birdie. Give him a little snack, and you're done. Move your hand a little bit closer. If he wants to go home right now, I'd teach him how to go back inside his cage by himself. See, look, I'm trying to go back inside the cage by himself. I closed the door. So he can do that. So, up, up. Ah, uh, really tripped him. Up, up. Good birdie. He's scared. Nervous. Scared. Okay. Move your hand a little bit closer. Up, up. Not used to this. Up, up. Good birdie. Good birdie. Move your hand a little bit closer. Keep on doing this until you have. Keep on doing this until you have your finger all the way up there. See, my finger's all the way up there. See? Up, up. He knows it's my finger, that's why. I have a treat! Up, up. He knows that's my finger. He's not gonna do it. I have a treat! Up, up. I have a treat! Yes! You, you went on my finger! He's on my finger. He was on my finger. Now, drop the stick. Now, all you do is up, up. Feels weirder, but if your cockatiel does bite hard, just make sure you use a glove or something. But I would use a, my finger so you can get used to you. Up, up. <laughs> I caught him off hard. Up, up. So scared. Go, go home. He wants to go home. I did do this video like. I posted on YouTube already, but up, 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 good birdie, oh, wow, this video is a bust, but up, up, good birdie, good birdie, and just feed him, you know that he's okay, oh my god, it's been good, up, up, keep on using your finger, that would be best if you use your finger. So basically, I just taught him how to get on my finger just now. Wow. Telling myself. Up, up. You don't actually need a treat, but you go get on the keyboard. Ah! Go. Oh, he fell. He already knows how to get on. He's on my keyboard. He's going to try to jump. Look, he's going to jump. Watch. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Jump! Ah! Oh. You did it! You did it! Yay! Oh, forgot to introduce you. Okay, well, um, he just pooped because he's scared. Oh, poor thing. So, this little fella is named Pepper, and he's a boy. So, if he, if tips to train your bird, if he does, if he, if he's alone, like right now, he doesn't have a bird in his cage, right? He's alone. I usually put mirrors, mirrors inside the um, cage so he wouldn't feel lonely, but um, other than that, he's okay, and if he does end up, you need to feed him every single day in water, and also, just try not to hurt him because it's really sensitive. Okay, so, remember this is what you need to find, you can find it at any other store any other pet store or the flea market, that's where I got it from, Mexican. And um, the stick, 
Usually it comes with the cage or you can just buy it. Whatever you do, just buy a stick. You know, stick that they can perch on in there. Use any stick. It doesn't have to be big, but it doesn't have to be a pencil either. But I I use this for videos. I post videos not other than YouTube, but on other other websites that might be helpful. And I usually tell him to go home. He you leave the cage open. Go home. You kind of scare him out, like push him to the side, and he goes inside. He goes inside his cage by himself. If you see, he goes inside his cage by himself, and I do is just close it. Right now it's feeding time for him, because I have to feed him. But other than that, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching Jennifer Beelitz.